back again our real truth with beatzilla pdx and again this little mini series is again i ask how much do we love ourselves one of the things i'm seeing right now especially online is a lot of uh ADOS versus FBA going on and a lot of people are taking it way out of context um, the foundational black American is an identifying lineage tag ADOS is a lineage identification tag however it is also an organization now the person who came up with foundational black American uh, who coined the phrase patent the title that does not make it a political organization I know a lot of people like to get out there and get in front of things and lie but that's not the case so be clear ADOS is a 504c3 organization foundational black American is a t-shirt keychain maybe okay know the difference but nonetheless, it is just a time-wasting tool for black folks to be at each other's throat over one thing or another. However, one group, we said Tangibles 2020, no reparations, no vote. Something that's happened uh, as of recent is that ADOS is celebrating the Biden victory. They were talking about we should get tangibles too. But I guess somewhere along the lines they changed their tune. This is the thing. Foundational black Americans want tangibles or nothing. No vote. So there were so many of us that were willing to hold our vote. Stay on code. Uh, make sure that our voices get heard. Our voices even in the midst of silence are still very pal powerful. 2020 could have been your loudest year but not everybody was on that page so we have people against one another however this is the problem when people come in and say we are pushing this agenda now we're going to join the system It's a little backwards and it's a little kind of questionable but again I would advise everybody just to be yourselves understand your lineage if it goes down to being a foundational black American then hey hold on to that you got a lot to be proud of you have survived a lot the other thing I'm seeing is the black feminist crowd starting to raise up now versus black men and women so this is a little different than before what's happening now is that with the sisters who are pushing the line of femininity versus feminism uh, familyism versus feminism uh, they're getting pushed back from other sisters as well I mean, I've seen some harsh, harsh critiques. Uh, so, you know, uh, a lot has been going on. Again, though, it's just us battling each other. Why? Who has taught us that all of the fighting should go in-house? Because when we try to actually address getting something from those who have had major benefits from us, it seems like pulling teeth to get other black folks on board. Now, how is that? If you're going to benefit, that you say, well, no. You know, maybe we should just wait and see what they're going to do. 
Well, you already got two people that told you they wasn't finna do nothing for you. But hey, you know, somebody telling you to your face you ain't getting shit, I guess it's still better than somebody that just said a few vile things and left your community alone. Yeah, there's that. So, you know, we got to look at each other like, okay, what is our objective? Do we really want to keep fighting each other? Or do we want to maybe put our heads together and do something new? Well, a good strong way of doing something new is doing what everybody else does. Invest in your families. Everything we got out here right now in this far the black community is about destroying it. Think of image. And when it comes to our image, we have to look at do we protect our image like other groups protect theirs? Will they let people come out say certain things unchecked? You let them people go out there say uh, certain things against them, uh, what they call the old boys club. Oh, they'll get out. They'll get out there and fix that real quick. That's patriarchy. For those who didn't know. A lot of gets put on black men. We were excluded from that party altogether. No, they ushered in uh, the prison system to handle that. Bullets from police guns. Uh, and all various different tactics attacking you, your own men. Shout out to Tariq, Tariq Nasheed uh, for the buck breaking trailer that just came out. That was pretty cool. Uh, looks like a, a really good movie, and it's right on time because our families have been under attack. But it's by design, you know. Uh, black men ain't this, black men ain't that. Uh, let's go support the debauchery or the uh, de the degradation of our women by doing the whole strip club thing. Now, granted, it takes the women to be there, but. Uh, that's never been a thing of mine. I mean, people got their own thing. And they're grown and definitely could do it. However, there's been strip clubs here in America forever. One thing that didn't happen is their strip club integrating into common society. Been topless bars since God knows when. Back before black women could even get jobs dancing. That didn't integrate into their society. It had its place. For us, they're making it seem like your grandma should be twerking. That's what they're pushing right now. And there's nothing okay about that. One of the big things, though, is uh, we got to relearn who we are. Uh, and of course that's no easy feat by any stretch of the imagination because so many of us came from so many different places however there are different elements that we can look at like uh, how nations are built how tribes are ran how tribes uh, coalitions of tribes came together and operated together which is you know, it's interesting. I hear all of this Wakanda talk, but nobody's willing to even operate like that. <laughs> Leave it up to them. They want to give it up to the to the white savior agent. Hey, run it. You got it. We don't need to be chiefs anymore. We don't need to run this. We'll just give all of our stuff to you and you tell us how to administrate it. Nah. Nah, we need to get off of that. And relearning how to trust ourselves. Right now, we and I was, there are some good reasons why certain people ain't meant to be trusted. Uh, when a person proves that they're not to be trusted, by all means, that's different. But to automatically assume that every black person who is trying to tell you something is lying. Oh, Lord. That is a deep thing. I've 
heard a few people say, I believe people don't know nothing until they prove to me they know something. Now, you know that only applies to us, right? They don't treat other people like that. Again, see the, the picture in the middle for those who are watched on YouTube. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of people who have a desire more to be accepted by their oppressors than they would ever have desire to get the love of their own people. I've witnessed this in my own existence. So it's definitely true. Definitely. You know, but relearning ourselves and relearning how to trust ourselves is huge. Uh, having your whole identity stripped from you, having your name stripped from you, having your family members stripped from you, that's a hell of a deal. So just to be free one day and say, hell, niggas, recover. No, 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 no. There's a lot of damage there. And miss me with all the, well, our families didn't have slaves and all of this. You came to this country because of slavery. If it wasn't popping because of all of this free labor, your ancestors would have not wanted to come here. And what was for them to get? Oh, free benefits a new life based off of what oh that free labor from those slaves to whom you say pull up yourselves by your own bootstraps well I'll tell you this just like in the bible in red letters when the man told these people how guilty they were just like their fathers yeah, you may not have had that. You may not have held slaves. You may not have strung up a black person. What you have done is had total, complete benefit from it being done without any reservations about it. You have went into other countries as the moral compass of the planet while so much blood, shame, and guilt is on your hands. And just for me to want to give my people to say, don't look to them, look to yourself. I get so much pushback. Well, for you Christians, the Bible says, envy not your oppressors. I don't think it could be much more envious than being like this dude in the middle of the screen. And he's not, he's, he's envied them so much that he loves them and hates himself. We have a lot of that today. Anybody who is willing to pick up a gun against somebody that looks just like them is no different than that man you were looking at in the middle of the screen. I don't care how much they scream how pro-black they are. The same people that'll act like him are the same people that'll praise that man over there in the bottom left corner. But gun down their own in the street. This man is responsible for your uncles and your daddy being gone. You being raised without a father. He had a hefty hand in that if you were born in the 90s or 2000s. Yeah. But yet, you look at it like we're wrong for telling you this. Now, being so removed from your origin, they understood how they put things out there. That's why I'm saying we have to be careful of how we're portrayed, the things that come out as talking points that are supposed to be representative of the black sentiment and community, which do not come from within our community. 
let's just keep it real a lot of people take money to come circumvent the messages of the people and right now our message is reparations can you dig it why not us <laughs> why not us so again I'm saying this will be just a few little uh, mini uh, mini pieces I had to cut this one up for this Our Real Truth podcast. But one thing I just hope that you take with this is again, we're all we got. And we have no friends. We'll have people that'll come use us, even come sleep with us, but they're not willing to let us live on our own. And by now, you should want to have, like, another Black Wall Street. I mean, at least, like, somewhere. Something like that, you know what I mean? You know, those people had their own planes. One block of black businesses. Without reparations. (laughs) We're balling out of control. Now... With that being said, it just goes to show how much people can't stand your financial gain. That's why we're getting so much pushback. But we, we got to know, uh, just like every movement um, has had infiltrators, uh, one of the biggest infiltrators right now is to the whole collective of foundational black Americans. There are now, you will, you will start seeing, well, we're already seeing all of these black folks coming out uh, trying to push everything but reparations that's not by accident not by coincidence it is by design Um, so just be mindful of that because these are the things they do Um, it's game and it's smart and it's a good tactic of maintaining control But do you want to be under that control much longer? I don't. We have a few years to do something new. Can we all get on the same page? And this is one for some of y'all may have a little bit problem with what I'm about to say. But no, your friend can't come. This is a family meeting may be hard for you to accept no 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 family meeting your friend can wait outside but we need to get on one accord that's what they don't want they do not want unity true unity so when you start seeing all of this unity and that kumbaya you need to start raising an eyebrow I mean, look at the people who are trying to, to actually get things done. They get flack. Why? Because it was actually about bringing people together and also getting your community tangibles. Well, it could be good business to be a black person to be against every other black person getting tangibles. Especially when they paying you to do so. Hey, y'all, don't complain. And stop pushing that police reform. (laughs) I got to play them clips where uh, Joe Biden just talking crazy to these people. Again, uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, both hellified racist. Kamala Harris ain't no better. Uh, So I just want everybody to know that don't get confused. I don't support them political parties. I support black folks. It's black first over here. So I support reparations. I support justice. And I support reparations. And I support justice. Did you get them candidates? Reparations and justice. Just in case you weren't clear. Again, I'll tell you. My two candidates that I support fully 100% 
is justice and reparations. So nobody can be confused and say, well, man, you sound like that. Nah, you heard what I said. It was clear. Now, can you get on board with justice? Can you get on board with reparations? Are you willing to do the things that it takes to do and get those things? Like, maybe withhold your vote with the rest of us next time? Oh, The boycott. It was about money. They stopped that dollar. They got answers quick. So, you know, just think of your vote as currency. Your vote being like the American dollar. And see how quick you don't get a response. With that being said, uh, I think I've said enough. <laughs> Again, this is Our Real Truth with Beatzilla PDX Official. You could uh, get at me and follow me at Instagram. Well, let me say, follow me at Instagram. Get at me after you follow me. Beatzilla PDX at Twitter, Beatzilla PDX, and at Facebook, Beatzilla PDX, and YouTube, Beatzilla PDX Official. This is the Our Real Truth podcast on Anchor FM, Spotify iTunes and Google Podcasts and many other platforms um, and again I am out of here this is Beatzilla signing off Babylon is falling Babylon is falling let it fall and let us rise you dig so with that being said Let's just get on out of here.